What is up, Lions fans? It's the Analytics Den here. And today, I'm going to be talking about the possible ways to fix defense and maybe a step by step process. Um, yeah, let's get into it. So, for us to start off, this is pretty obvious. People have been talking about this for some time, but we need players to get healthy. Some notable players that are hurt uh, Romeo Okwara, Joshua Pascal, Levi on Wounds, Enrique, Jerry Jacobs, and John Kaminsky. Uh, Four out of the five players are defensive line players, and they've been pretty vital since our pass rush has gone down. Uh, John Kaminsky, ever since he's left, even Hutch's numbers have gone down. Um, Romeo is arguably our top pass rusher, besides for Hutch. Uh, Levi Onjurike is supposed to be our main three-tech, and Jerry Jacobs is possibly going to be a starting corner. We'll see what happens there. We also need to do more disguises. Uh, Rashad Penny talked about it. it wasn't the play call, but we alerted to it because we knew with the defense uh, they were going to run the third down because our coaches do an amazing job just preparing us for these moments. This is one of our alerts. And once we saw that they were in that kind of defense, it was kind of a no-brainer. Stop allowing offense. So we got to stop allowing offenses to know what they are going to do, especially in a crucial situation. This happens too much to exploit plays such as the Rashad Penny run, the Ramondre Stevenson run. Uh, it even happened last year, Justin Jefferson, where they just we just seem to give up big plays in crucial situations. We need to disguise our looks so that way teams don't know what we're doing and they don't exploit our offense, especially since we do things like blitzing, which blitzing is either a hit or a miss a lot of the times. And you can counter blitzes, big plays happen. Next is fix, fix communication issues, like ASAP. Um, so Kyle Minicky had a report that, uh, for example, versus Minnesota, where one of the biggest touchdowns that were allowed was wide open, was a miscommunication. Um, they This has happened almost every single game for the Lions, especially for the secondary. Where it was a miscommunication, a big catch was allowed, not, not just because the guy was getting beat, because maybe a safety didn't go in and cover, or maybe a corner thought a corner left the safety to do a job that he wasn't supposed to do, something like that. And needs to be fixed because even with or even with Tracy Walker, there were still communication issues, and it's only gotten worse ever since his injury. Either Kirby Joseph or Deshaun Elliott got to step up and start making some plays, and start not just making plays but also communicating and leading their team. You cannot have a successful pass defense if your team doesn't know who they're supposed to cover. This is also something Eric Glenn also needs to fix, since this is a job as defensive coordinator is to coordinate his team. Uh, next is start developing talent. Uh, the Aaron Glenn defense has regressed with almost every player besides for Jeff Okuda. Uh, Charles Harris has taken a step back. Uh, Alexander Loney has not stunt, has, like, stunted Amani O, who's doing even worse than even I thought he was going to do. Mike Hughes is having a career worst year. Uh, Elliot's been okay, kind of having bad coverage numbers. Um... But they need to step up with development of players, maybe the, maybe the ones that are even injured, like Josh Pascal, Jerry Jacobs, uh, Kirby Joseph, Aiden Hutchinson, and Levi Alvarez-Rique, whenever he returns. Um, needs to start having, because even Aiden Hutchinson has abandoned some of his passwords moves that he had in Michigan. It's almost like they're de-developing their talent. Aiden Hutchinson used to do a lot of counter-rip moves, but he just doesn't do it anymore. We need players to step up, whether it be... A draft pick like Hayden Hutchinson or a player already on the team like Jerry Jacobs, talent needs to develop. Another possible option is making a trade. If everyone remembers, the Lions made a trade for Snack Harrison uh, in 2018, where we kind of went from the high 20s to down to the 16th ranked defense. And just, just a nose tackle helped us up that much. So I'm not saying we're going to need to trade for a nose tackle, but there we just need to maybe trade for an impactful player, such as Brian Burns out of Carolina after Matt Rule, Roquan Smith uh, requested a trade. Maybe there's an unknown available player, like I no one really knew Snacks Harrison was on the trade market. Maybe we could find someone who could make a trade and make an impact player. Another thing we could maybe do that maybe improve that is stop going for it on four every play. Uh, Jack Fox is arguably the best punter in the NFL. Even Bill Belichick says this, that the Lions led the league in fourth down attempts with 18 first half units, and we went for it six times versus New England on situations where it wasn't even needed. Going for it instead of, we just, need to, we just don't need to go for it. We already have a bad defense, and we're putting them in a harder position, such as sticking them in the red zone, middle of the field. 
We're not getting points, so that way our offense is always having to catch up since our defense allows touchdowns. And overall, it just doesn't work out for us in such a way, especially because Fox could also put the defense in better positions. And of course, here's the more desperate possibility. Firing Aaron Glenn. Now, I don't know if they're going to do this quite yet. They may not do this until a week or two after the bye and the defense keeps doing well. But we all know that the defense lacks a whole lot of talent. It's allowing over 30 points a game. Seattle is the closest with 29 points per game. The third most points per game allowed is Los Angeles Chargers with 25 points per game. And they have a lot of talent, by the way, mind you. It's not just a talent issue I showed. We don't hide what we're going to do. All those issues I said, we don't hide, we don't communicate. And for all this talk about having talent, the Texans with Lovey Smith, like two league starters, league wide starters, which would be like John from Gennar and like Derek Stingley, are only allowing 19 points per game. And I'm not saying this defense is going to be instantly good with a better defensive coordinator, but good defensive coordinators make do with what they have and don't allow over 30 points a game. It can be both a coaching issue and a talent issue. Um, last season, the Lions' offense was also one of the worst under offensive corner Andy Lynn. When he was demoted, and the offense took the play calling. They went from 32nd to 25th, and also technically in the, those final, final weeks, the offense played better in general, and Goff played amazingly better. The defense very well could improve with another coordinator change, such as Aubrey Pleasant. Last season, the Lions adjusted the scheme under Anthony Lynn. Have instead of completely flipping it when Glenn is fired, someone takes over defensive coordinator rule such as Aubrey Pleasant, maybe Todd Wash, uh, doing a Campbell and Johnson kind of esque move where they simplify the, their defense and be more creative and hide what they're doing, but also just get some better results and a new fresh scenery. This won't automatically make the defense great, but it can arguably make the defense better, getting a new fresh face and maybe someone who's more capable of play calling. Uh, this is the video. I will maybe attempt to go live today. Definitely will sometimes week. And I will see you guys later. One pride.